Hello! And welcome back to Basic Movie Room. We're here to review a new movie, which is why this is coming out on a weird day, because I'm going to upload this as soon as possible. The Batman, starring Robert Pattinson and directed by Matthew Reeves. Also starring Colin Farrell in an unrecognizable role. And, uh, oh shit. <laughs> Zoe Kravitz, also in a role. So, The Batman begins. Oh. <laughs> oh. See what he did? Batman begins. Fan words. In year two of Batman, actually. So, I, I appreciate the fact that they didn't go back to, like, yeah. the origin story. Yeah. Which thank, most, thank God. Most uh, of the Batman stories begin again <laughs> with an origin story. So, they can go with an origin story. They figure that's been done. So we're in the second year of Robert Pattinson, Bruce Wayne being Batman, and there starts to be killings. Uh, the mayor is the first killing, not a spoiler really, because yeah. it happens in like the first 20 minutes of the movie. Yeah, very important people. And uh, we have Jeffrey Wright playing Commissioner Gordon, who involves the Batman. Great yeah. casting. Oh, fantastic casting. I, I can't say enough about the casting. I mean, Jeffrey Wright's fantastic. Felix Slater. What is he James been, Bond. What has he been bad at? Nothing. Exactly. Basquiat. Yeah. He was uh, in the French Dispatch most recently. So. A drink. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm not going to spoil a lot from this movie. I just kind of want to go into our reaction to it. And I'm going to let you go first in reaction to it and kind of how you feel about yeah. it. Because this movie can't have spoilers. I no. think it needs to be seen to be uh, appreciated. Yeah, especially yeah. for being three hours long. Yeah, so what, so what was your reaction to it? I was very kind of worried about this movie at first. Because I was like, oh man, they're really trying to throw a lot into one Batman movie. With, you know, I saw on, on the trailers, <clears throat> I saw Penguin, I saw Catwoman, I saw Falcone, I saw, you know, all these different, you know, different villains. I got a little worried that they were going to kind of convolute it a little bit too much. But this is how you throw at least five, maybe six villains in there mm -hmm. and make the movie work perfectly. It was a great, gritty adaptation of Batman. Probably the best about Batman. Very little Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Which is great. <clears throat> and I love the approach that they took with going with the Riddler because, not going to spoil anything, but they kind of made Riddler and Joker about the same level as a villain towards Batman. And I'm going to leave it at that because it's exciting to see on the screen and you're just like, you're engrossed in this movie the whole time. Um, loved it. Yeah. Totally loved it. So I agree with how they put Riddler on the screen and made him equal with mm -hmm. all villains, because in previous movies like Batman Forever, which is okay, Riddler is kind of like second fiddle, ultimately, with Jim Carrey's Riddler. I'm not going to play about Jim Carrey's Riddler. He's fantastic. Did what but he was supposed to. Paul Dano in this role cool. is like, oh my God, just fantastic. I love Paul Dano. I just watched Love and Mercy, which Paul Dano plays Brian Wilson along with John Cusack as well. Excellent movie. But Paul Dano just sells this role. Yeah. I mean, he completely gets into this role yeah. and fills the role. And yeah, I mean, they make him a, a villain just like anybody else. Most movies have kind of played off to like the Riddler was like a secondary villain in that he's not really a serious villain. And Jim Carrey's villain even was not a serious villain. No. He was kind of a joke. It was very cartoon. But yeah. this villain was serious. He was yeah. killing people. He was doing things that Very Batman needed to be involved in. So, 
So I very much say that the Riddler was well handled this movie. Oh my and then you get, yeah. you know, that slight little Joker preview at the end. Not a spoiler, really, because it's not really <laughs> well, his, anything. Even in his, when he's talking and he starts to laugh. Yeah. You even get that little bit of a yeah. Joker laugh, too. So, it's like they're almost on the same page. Yeah. And Robert Pattinson, oh. fantastic. As Batman. I mean, if there was ever a Batman that knew how to act with his eyes, this guy. Yeah. Destroyed it. Pattinson's fantastic. His eyes. He really is. His eyes did most of his acting. In my opinion. Yeah. And it's only had to do. Yeah. Minimal Bruce Wayne, which is what we want. Yeah. We don't want a ton of Bruce Wayne. We don't want like George Clooney, Bruce Wayne, and Batman, whatever that was. Batman yeah. and Robin. We want minimal Bruce Wayne. That's not great. I'm not talking about You're fine. I've had a lot to drink. <laughs> uh, so but three Alfred. Movie. I will go back to Alfred and yeah. Andy Serkis is Alfred. I can't complain. No. I really love Andy Serkis. Minimal Circus. Alfred too. Yeah, minimal Alfred. Yeah. Yeah, but he did a great job as Alfred. But overall, and Selena Kyle, uh, and Zoe Kravitz as Selena Kyle, I can't go on enough about how good she really was. She was really, really good yeah. in this movie. And I don't want to spoil things, so I'm not going to go into why she was good, but she was excellent in yeah. this role. It's like a Catwoman begins. It's kind of yeah. That was like what I would say. Yeah, that she's was not. Her. She's not like the jewel thief that Catwoman yeah, is in like Cat Dark Woman's, Knight. This is more of a Catwoman origins. Yeah. Than it is. Yeah, Batman's been Batman for two years at yeah. this point. I love Catwoman's that. fairly new. I just love how they approach that. Matt Reeves yeah. did a great job of being like, we're not gonna explore that. Yeah. Yeah. The origin story again. It's been done and done. Yeah. And done. And, and which I appreciate. Because yeah. they've done that a lot. The, so many origin stories. For origin sure. stories need to stop. You hear little reports in the background yeah. about, you know, the Wayne family was killed back. Yeah. You, know, yeah. Blah, blah, you, blah, get, blah. you get and background, you, but not yeah. an origin story. Yeah, if you're not paying attention, you won't even... Yeah, it makes so much sense yeah. to do it that way. And, and a lot of people thought this would be Batman Year One, but it's Batman Year Two. Yeah. And it's so... People talk about the Nolan trilogy being grounded in reality. Mm -hmm. This is more grounded in reality than Nolan. It no doubt is. I mean, this didn't feel comic booky at all. This felt yeah. like if I Gritty. go if I go downtown where we're at right now, St. Louis, St. Louis, and this could happen downtown. Yeah, and this guy, this crazy guy, could be in a mask and. You know, helping people out. I feel like this is something that could happen down there. <laughs> yeah, there's no doubt. He, he set this. It feels in, in good our, in our world. Yeah, so, it feels it could, grounded. It could be good for now, but for future adaptations or you know sequels, it might get a little. We'll see. We'll see what they questionable. Can, we'll see what they yeah. can do with it. Because I yeah. think I think I don't think Nolan's trilogy was meant to be a trilogy anyway. Yeah, so, I think they pushed it to a trilogy. Yeah, but so nonetheless, cool. I, I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. The soundtrack was fantastic. Giacchino, Giacchino did amazing, did a perfect job, I think, with this score. He he wasn't overswelling, which I love. Hans Zimmer, he didn't overswell the score. Like Hans Zimmer loves to do. Zimmer's going to do that. <laughs> but that, that's Hans Zimmer. He hit little low keys, high keys, right when you needed it. And, like, he almost had, like, a fright, almost like a horror movie type score going for a little bit. Then he had a little heroic score going. And then he had that, of course, the, the amazing... Song that you're gonna hear throughout adaptation. Like yeah, I'm not gonna play it out at all. So we give away by Nirvana. Yeah, you're gonna. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kids from the '90s here. So, yeah. but uh, One yeah, of my the score songs. the score was amazing. I think uh, Giacchino's best. Yeah, I agree. The score was an asset it was to the movie. It was perfect. Yeah. yeah. 
there are some times when it, like it lightens up and it's like yeah that makes sense it didn't get and me. then it gets dark it and that's like it. perfect it didn't give up give away a scene either yeah it played along with the scene to where you know sometimes you can watch a movie and a score starts to swell or something you're like oh this is gonna happen this didn't happen in this movie Gene Tino did a great job. Yeah, he was played fantastic. along with the movie. Yep, so, absolutely. Yeah, that's all, all right. I got. All right, so that's the movie. I don't want to spoil it, so I'm right. not gonna go much into it. So we'll go to rating. I'll rate first. Uh, I mean, if we're like Dark Knight is like four and a half stars for me. Yeah. This is right there with it. This is four yeah. and a half stars for me. It's really, really good. Robert Pattinson does a great job. The score is fantastic. Andy Serkis is a bonus to the movie. Yeah. Selena Kyle and Zoe Kravitz is fantastic. Colin Farrell, unrecognizable as a penguin, which we didn't mention throughout the video. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, John Turturro as Carmine Falcone, fantastic. Everything worked in this movie. It, it very well worked. It was well put together. Four and a half stars. Yeah, I gotta go with the same. But a four and a half stars, that's just a click below Dark Knight. Yeah, I am with you. Just a click. So, I mean, it, it's it's we, a good start. We don't have Heath Ledger here. Yeah. I mean, that's an epic performance. That was, that's the yeah. all-time. And there wasn't really an epic... I mean, all everybody did a great job in this. Yeah. But there wasn't that epic performance. Yeah, absolutely. So, like, Heath Ledger, you think of Dark Knight, Heath Ledger. Boom. And there wasn't any Batman voice. <laughs> Although I felt like Robert Pattinson there was kind of, yeah. kind of, kind of channeling the yeah. Yeah, couple ch Christian Bale times, yeah. yeah. But it wasn't over the top and didn't like it wasn't jarring. Hockey pants, yeah, yeah. He wore hockey pants the whole yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching Basement yeah. Movie Room. That's our review of Batman, the Batman, two thousand twenty-two. See you next time. <laughs> I got you! <laughs> I got you!